Hi, I'm Kelly Eckhold, Chief Economist here at Westpac, and I'd like to update you today on the big event of the week, which is the outcome of the March quarter CPI. As expected, headline inflation fell to 6.7%, which really gives optimism that the peak of inflation pressures has passed here in New Zealand. But as we mentioned last week, the devil was always going to be in the detail. And even there, there are real signs of optimism in that the core inflation measures that we look at most closely, whilst they're not falling, are showing real signs of topping out, which will be of great comfort to the Reserve Bank as it's thinking about the path for interest rates going forward. But nevertheless, we shouldn't get too carried away and be optimistic about rate cuts anytime soon. Inflation is still far too high, and indeed, for Westpac's forecast, we still anticipate that there'll be one further 25 basis point hike when the Reserve Bank meets later next month. But having said that, the Reserve Bank has told us that the path ahead for them will be more data dependent than it has been in the past. This CPI is the first important piece of data that they're likely to be taking into account as they chart that path forward. The other two key pieces of information are the March quarter Labour report, which will be due in a couple of weeks, and the government budget, which will be out closer to the end of next month. If the Labour report shows signs that the economy is weakening as forecast, and if there are signs that in the budget that the government won't be substantively adding to inflation pressures over the year ahead, then we might be more confident that the Reserve Bank will stay on hold and keep interest rates reasonably steady for the next year or so as inflation presses gradually subside. Let's talk again next week.